Hello, this is another transformation question. Here we are supposed to identify the parent function and write transformation in correct order. Okay, so I've seen in some test papers that students don't write, they write the correct transformation, but the order is different. If you do follow that order, you don't really get the right answer. Okay, so let me first take an example. Let's say my transform function is f of x equals to minus 3 over 2 and uh, let me write this as square root of 4x minus 12 plus 6. This is my transform function and I'm supposed to write its transformation in correct order. Now, what is the correct order? Correct order is first we do multiplication that is multiplying by a factor of or dividing by a factor of that is vertical or horizontal stretch or compression correct and the next step is to do translation left or right up or down so these are the two parts so first part you have to do always uh, multiplication and division and the next part is addition or subtraction now you can change the order for example you can write horizontal translation first and then vertical or you can do vertical translation first and then horizontal. And on the other hand, you can do vertical stretches and reflection first and then horizontal reflex, re reflection or compression or stretch. Or you can interchange the operation. But in any case, all dealing with multiplication operation should come first and they should be followed by addition, subtraction or translation operations. Do you understand? That's how it should be. So that is what we're trying to achieve in this. So there are always more than a way to write this. There could be four ways, right? So we can have a combination of four ways to do it. So here we see that this is not factored. So first step is always to factor this out, right? So let me write this in the factored form. So we say minus 3 over 2 square root of. Let me factor out 4 and we get x minus 12 divided by 4 is 3, right? plus 6. Now this is a good place to start writing your transformations, right? So now let's write down the transformations. So the transformation is, so first, I follow a method going from left to right. If you go from left to right, there is no confusion and you always get right order. For me, that is the best thing. So first is minus, that means reflection on which axis on it is vertical it's outside so vertically reflects like this so reflection on x axis okay now second second is 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 greater than 1 or less than 1 well 3 by 2 is greater than 1 that means vertical stretch so it's vertical stretch by a factor of 3 over 2. In this statement, factor of is very important. Remember this. Many times students forget to write factor of and they lose marks here. Vertical stretch by a factor of 3 over 2 is most important thing in this statement, right? I know they know the answer, but we mark on the basis of what they write in the test paper. Correct? Now 4. 4 is of course more than 1 and we do just the reverse things here. So it is not horizontal stretch, rather it is horizontal compression, right? Or you can say horizontally compressed. By a factor of how much? 1 over 4. Do you see that? So when you multiply by 1 over 4, you are bound to get a lower value, right? Okay. And next is, see I'm moving left to right. Do you see that? 3. Now 3, what will make this factor 0? 3 plus 3, right? So you move 3 units to the right. So you say horizontal translation. of 3 units to right. You can combine 
these two terms together also, right? And then we could say this is plus 6, so it will move up, right? So we say we can write translate vertically or vertical translation. of 6 units up. Correct. So this is one way of writing it and this is the correct order of writing it. We can always change the order. right? So changing the order, so what I'm trying to do is trying to give you an alternate way of doing right? So we could write like this also. Instead of writing we could say horizontally compressed first, right? So we can say, let me give you an alternate order, right? So we say horizontally compression. So you say horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over 4. So we are doing horizontal first, right? And then we can do the vertical thing. So that is reflect on x axis, right? And then vertical stretch by a factor of. 3 over 2, right? Same thing. And after that, we can combine both these, right? We can say vertical translation of 6 units up, and then we can say horizontal translation. Translation of 3 units to right. Okay, so this is another way of writing the same transformation. Okay, I hope you remember how to do it, right? Thing to keep in mind is first two multiplications and then two translations. Okay, thank you.